thriller with Charlie Paul just edged after taking the lead of Peterborough when Gary Little's free kick sneaked in for his first senior goal. Defensively, Peterborough had a day to forget and once more they were carved open by a Joel Porter pass which this time released Gary Little for his second of the game and Hartlepool's fourth. Hartlepool are now above Tranmere because they've scored six more goals than Rovers, who conceded after only three minutes of this match, when Gary Little expertly placed the ball into the back of the net. A trip to the Gal Farms, one of the most feared in League One. To call Huddersfield free scoring would be an understatement. But Gary Little turned the tables after 17 minutes. Hart can Hartlepool do from this corner? They can score, that's what they can do. It's the corner. Oh, it's three! And Lidl has done it again. Another set piece. And dedicated his team's performance to absent friends. Gary Lidl soon had them in front. Wadsworth says he was shocked by this week's departures of Director of Sport Chris Turner. And Horwood's throat. Still trying to work the ball around. Lidl! Gary Liddell cracked Hartlepool back into the lead, on course for their first league victory in four. Here comes the corner, Liddell! Hartlepool are back in front. It's Colin Larkin, the Hartlepool substitute, running at Carly Osborne. Managing to get the cross in as well. It's not it back here for Gary Liddell to pick his spot. It's Solana. Good ball forward, looking for the run of Anthony Sweeney. And it flicked off Richard Duffy, came back off the post, and surely it'll be bundled over the line. So with Carlisle seemingly in the ascendancy, naturally Hartlepool then took the lead. Some standoffish defending from the home side allowed Gary Little to score his second goal in as many matches. But Chesterfield looked as if they'd condemn themselves before the break by giving Ryan Noble too much room to help Gary Little to put pools in front.